In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, astrophysics achieved a monumental milestone. The establishment of the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, cosmology model. This model provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the universe's composition and evolution. Humans have long been captivated by cosmic mysteries, pondering questions such as the universe's nature, its limits, and its origins. Today, thanks to extensive astronomical observations and cutting-edge technology, we have reached a consensus on many of these questions. Lambda CDM cosmology reveals that the universe is composed of approximately 68% dark energy, 27% dark matter, and only about 5% ordinary matter. This model suggests that the universe began from a hot, dense, and nearly uniform state approximately 13.8 billion years ago in what we term the Big Bang. Since then, the universe has been expanding, cooling, and evolving under the influence of gravity. However, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are challenging some of our long-held beliefs about the early universe and the formation of galaxies. The JWST, with its unparalleled infrared capabilities, has revealed unexpected anomalies in the early universe. Contrary to the hierarchical structure formation theory, which predicts that small stars gradually form and merge into larger structures, JWST has detected massive, well-formed galaxies much earlier than anticipated. This discovery suggests that galaxies formed and evolved at a faster rate than current models predict, posing significant challenges to our understanding of cosmic evolution. These findings are not just minor discrepancies. They suggest a fundamental rethinking of galaxy formation theories. The early appearance of massive galaxies is akin to discovering fully grown teenagers in a nursery, an analogy that highlights the profound implications of these observations. Such discoveries force us to reconsider the processes that led to the formation of galaxies and stars in the early universe. One possibility to explain these early massive galaxies is that they formed through mechanisms previously unknown to science. These could include rapid and efficient star formation processes or unprecedentedly fast mergers of smaller galaxies. Alternatively, these galaxies might have experienced unique environmental conditions that accelerated their growth. Regardless of the specific mechanism, it is clear that the JWST discoveries are prompting scientists to revise their models of cosmic evolution and galaxy formation. Beyond galaxy formation, JWST observations have also provided new insights into the structure of the early universe. For decades, astronomers believed that early galaxies were too fragile to develop complex structures like spiral arms, bars, or rings. These features were thought to emerge billions of years after the Big Bang. However, JWST has detected galaxies with well-defined structures as early as 3.7 billion years after the Big Bang. This discovery suggests that galaxies began forming organized structures much earlier than previously believed. In a study led by Christopher Canellis, an astronomy professor at the University of Manchester, JWST data revealed that the early universe contained a surprisingly large number of well-structured galaxies. These findings challenge the traditional view of galaxy evolution and suggest that the processes leading to the formation of complex structures were active much earlier than thought. The study analyzed a sample of over 3,000 galaxies, making it the most extensive investigation of early galaxy structures to date. Moreover, JWST data has exacerbated existing tensions in our understanding of the universe, such as the discrepancy in the Hubble constant, a measure of the universe's expansion rate. There are two primary methods for calculating this constant, one based on measurements of the early universe like those from JWST and another based on observations of nearby stars. Despite improved precision in both methods, they continue to yield different values for the Hubble constant, suggesting potential flaws in our cosmological models rather than in the data itself. The advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has significantly enriched our understanding of the cosmos unveiling observations that prompt a re-evaluation of the foundational Big Bang Theory. While the Big Bang Theory remains the cornerstone of cosmological models explaining the universe's origin and evolution, JWST discoveries indicate that the theory might require refinement rather than outright replacement. These observations suggest complexities in the early universe that the current Big Bang paradigm may not fully account for, particularly regarding the formation and evolution of massive galaxies.
Hashtag, 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 the Big Bang Theory. A brief overview. The Big Bang Theory posits that the universe originated approximately 13.8 billion years ago from a singular extremely hot and dense state. This initial expansion event set the stage for the universe's ongoing evolution, leading to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. The theory has successfully explained several key phenomena, including the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMBR, the afterglow of the Big Bang, and the distribution of galaxies observed in the large-scale structure of the universe. However, the JWST's detailed observations of the early universe have revealed the presence of massive, well-formed galaxies much sooner than the traditional models predicted. This discovery challenges the established timeline of galaxy formation and suggests that the processes involved in the early universe might be more intricate than previously thought. Hashtag, 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 early formation of massive galaxies. A challenge to existing models. The hierarchical structure formation theory, which underpins the Big Bang model, posits that small structures formed first and gradually merged to create larger ones over billions of years. According to this model, the universe's initial state was relatively smooth, with small density fluctuations eventually leading to the formation of stars and galaxies. However, JWST observations have detected massive galaxies appearing within just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, a timeline much shorter than previously assumed. These early massive galaxies are akin to finding adult trees in a landscape where only saplings should exist. Their premature formation implies that the early universe may have experienced more rapid and efficient processes of star and galaxy formation than current models can explain. Such findings suggest the need to rethink the mechanisms that drove the initial stages of cosmic evolution. Hashtag, 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 potential explanations and theoretical adjustments. Several hypotheses have emerged to account for the JWST observations. One possibility is that these early galaxies formed through processes not yet fully understood or incorporated into existing models. For instance, these galaxies might have experienced highly efficient star formation or rapid mergers of smaller structures leading to their unexpectedly large sizes. Alternatively, they could have formed in regions with unique environmental conditions that accelerated their growth. Another area of potential revision involves the role of dark matter and dark energy in the early universe. The Lambda CDM model, which includes dark matter and dark energy as critical components, might need adjustments to accommodate the early appearance of large galaxies. Understanding the interplay between these components and their influence on galaxy formation could provide new insights into the early universe's dynamics. Hashtag, 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 reconciling JWST observations with the Big Bang Theory. While JWST's findings challenge aspects of the Big Bang Theory, they do not necessarily undermine its core principles. Instead, these observations highlight the need for a more nuanced understanding of cosmic evolution. The Big Bang Theory must evolve to incorporate new data, much like any scientific theory that encounters anomalous observations. Refining the Big Bang Theory involves expanding its framework to account for the rapid formation of massive galaxies. This might include revisiting assumptions about the rate of star formation, the influence of dark matter, or the behavior of primordial gas clouds. By integrating these new elements, scientists can develop a more comprehensive model that aligns with JWST observations. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag alternative models complementing the Big Bang. In response to these challenges, some scientists have explored alternative cosmological models. While these models have not yet supplanted the Big Bang theory, they offer different perspectives on the universe. S. Origins and Evolution For example, the steady-state model suggests a universe that maintains a constant density through continuous creation of matter, contrasting with the Big Bang's finite beginning. The ekparotic model proposes that the universe resulted from a collision between two three-dimensional worlds in a higher-dimensional space, while the Big Bounce model envisions a cyclical universe that alternates between expansion and contraction. These alternative models highlight the ongoing quest to understand the universe's complexities. They suggest that the Big Bang theory, while dominant, is part of a broader exploration of cosmological principles. The goal is not to discard the Big Bang theory but to refine it, incorporating new data and perspectives to develop a more accurate and holistic view of the universe's history. Hashtag, 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 conclusion. Refining our understanding of the cosmos. 
the JWST observations underscore the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. They remind us that our understanding of the universe is continually evolving as new data and technologies emerge. The Big Bang Theory, with its profound explanatory power, remains a foundational framework for cosmology. However, it must be flexible enough to accommodate new discoveries and adjust to the complexities revealed by advanced observational tools like the JWST. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we can anticipate further refinements to our cosmological models. The JWST contributions are invaluable, providing a deeper understanding of the early universe and challenging us to refine our theories to reflect the rich tapestry of cosmic evolution. In doing so, we move closer to uncovering the full story of the universe's origins and its ongoing journey through time and space. Several alternative models to the Big Bang have been proposed over the years. The steady-state model, for example, posits that the universe always had and will always have the same density, with matter continuously created as the universe expands. The ekparotic model suggests that our universe resulted from a collision of two three-dimensional worlds in a hidden fourth dimension, aligning with the Big Bang theory at later times. The Big Bounce model envisions a cyclical universe that expands and contracts over billions of years. Plasma cosmology describes the universe in terms of its electrodynamic properties, focusing on the behavior of ionized gases. While none of these models have gained the widespread acceptance of the Big Bang theory, they highlight the ongoing quest to refine our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. As our observational capabilities improve, so too will our theoretical models. JWST discoveries, in particular, underscore the need for a more comprehensive framework that can account for the early and rapid formation of massive galaxies. The impact of JWST extends beyond galaxy formation to the study of supermassive black holes. Recently, JWST observed light from stars surrounding some of the earliest supermassive black holes in the universe, seen as they were less than a billion years after the Big Bang. These observations, conducted by a team from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, address the question of how these colossal black holes grew so rapidly. The findings suggest that supermassive black holes in the early universe grew from massive seed black holes, potentially formed before their host galaxies. This discovery provides tentative evidence that supermassive black holes could have formed from heavy seeds and gained their mass before their host galaxies did. This challenges the traditional view that galaxies form first and then accumulate black holes at their centers, suggesting a more complex interplay between black hole and galaxy formation in the early universe. In another groundbreaking study, JWST observed a scorching hot exoplanet known as 55 Cancri E, which is believed to be composed of diamond. This planet, located about 41 light years from the solar system, has a width almost twice that of Earth and a mass around nine times greater. It orbits its star at a mere 23 million kilometers, resulting in a surface temperature of around 2,400 degrees Celsius, 4,352 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet's close proximity to its star has stripped it of its original atmosphere, but JWST's observations suggest that it has grown a second atmosphere through outgassing from its rocky interior. This secondary atmosphere, likely composed of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, provides a fascinating glimpse into the processes that govern the atmospheric evolution of exoplanets. The study of 55 Cancri E highlights JWST's ability to characterize the atmospheres of distant worlds, offering new insights into the conditions that can support secondary atmosphere formation. The implications of JWST discoveries are profound and far-reaching. They challenge our current understanding of galaxy formation, supermassive black hole growth, and exoplanet atmospheres, prompting a reevaluation of existing models and theories. As we continue to analyze the data from JWST, we can expect further revelations that will deepen our understanding of the universe's history and evolution. Despite these challenges to existing models, the Big Bang theory remains a robust framework for understanding the universe's origins and development. It has successfully explained many observed phenomena, including the cosmic microwave background radiation and the large-scale structure of the universe. However, the JWST discoveries suggest that the theory may need to be updated to account for the new data. As our observational capabilities continue to improve, we will likely develop more accurate and comprehensive models of the universe.
The journey from the Big Bang Theory's inception to its current status as the dominant cosmological model has been long and complex, and it is far from over. Future discoveries, driven by instruments like the JWST, will undoubtedly refine and expand our understanding of the cosmos. In conclusion, the JWST is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. Its unprecedented observations are challenging long-held theories and prompting scientists to rethink the processes that govern galaxy formation, black hole growth, and exoplanet atmospheres. While these discoveries may complicate our understanding of the universe, they also offer exciting opportunities to refine our models and develop a more accurate picture of cosmic evolution. The Big Bang Theory, though still central to our understanding of the universe, may need to be integrated into a larger, more comprehensive framework that can account for these new observations. As we continue to explore the cosmos with the JWST and other advanced instruments, we can look forward to a deeper and more nuanced understanding of the universe's origins and evolution.